this ain't nothing but some boss talk. If I said it, then I stand on them shooters on my side. That's on command, homie. This ain't nothing but some boss talk. It's hot, yeah. I can get my hands I on them. the word on the street. It's a demand this on them. ain't it. nothing but some boss the talk. talk. You might have think this came from him. I'm from the trench. I got this out the kitchen. This ain't nothing but some boss talk. When I talk, they pay attention. You can learn something. You better listen. This ain't nothing but some boss talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, my dad. Hey, man, say, man, this here, this easy one right here for me, man. Hey, this one ain't hard at all, man. Mm -hmm. that, you know, some of them, you know, you be just kind of like, man, how's this one going to go? But this one here, man, I feel real good about it, man. Exactly. Hey, man, you, you already know what it is, man. My boy, man, PGF Shouts in the building, man. What's what, going on? What's happening, man? What's happening? Man, you know, man, thank you so much, man. I thank God for putting you in my life, man. I, I, man, I thank God for putting that, you in my mind. Man, it, it, it just, it, it, it's, it's unbelievable, man. When we started this, this, this whole thing man we didn't we didn't know what we were doing you know what i'm saying and right. we just basically did something just to say hey man we to get in the, in this this game and, and and try to make a difference try to do something positive inject positivity into this world this social media you know world that's the way i was looking at it right right and uh and, and make a little money in the process definitely, definitely. <laughs> always wrong so with it. so but when we did we didn't know there's a there's a some people that god put in our life man and you one of those people, man, that I don't play about you. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it, <laughs> I ain't playing no games about you, man. Yeah, and the feeling, the feeling mutual, man. Love it. Yeah, man. Me and my wife, you know, when I come here, you know, it's a no-brainer what I'm trying to do when I'm down here in Atlanta, man. I'm trying to get with you, nigga. I'm finding my guy, man. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, look, look. <laughs> so, uh, man, just... Uh, you know, last time we did... we It's a lot that happened since the last interview, man. A lot, man. A lot. Yeah. And it... it when you look back down that, that whole road, you're like, man, you know, you never would have thought, you know, that a lot of the stuff that's going on today would be happening. But life just happens. Correct. It does. And ain't nothing you could do about it. That's true. So, so what, what you got for shout today? You know, I like to always break you off because you, you, you ain't for the never get me off this thing. So, you know what? You both got the conversation. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> I'm just chilling. But um, from the last time we interviewed you till today, what have changed in your life, um, not only in the business, because we know about immunity that's coming out, right, or right. that's out, I should say. But then um, I want to know about your personal. My personal. You know, I got I got to dig down deep down in because you're a terrific person. Right. Uh, not so much change uh, with my personal though. I think um, I'm with the same family. Mm -hmm. um, my, my, my that's circle. big yeah my circle don't change um, and your mental space because you know we're always growing so we're always trying to think of new things to elevate ourselves correct, correct. so I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to see what have you came up with from that time till now from that time to now oh man I've been to a, into a lot more than just music from that time to now okay that? Uh, like I told I've been to, into this crypto world mm -hmm. uh, I got no, I'm trying to learn that thing man you, you gotta me put me too. up on game man. Like I told you I'm gonna bring my guy Chop I, yeah. I'm gonna let him um, sit up here and talk about it he real good with the financial I love to do it man about the cause everybody be the talking about it and some, and you know when people start talking about finances and crypto and stuff it's like you're like now, shouts out to Wall Street Trapper, man. Y'all got to follow okay. him on IG, man. He going to put you down with a, uh, a lot of game on the stocks. Mm -hmm. um, I follow him. He give me a lot of game. He he, he made with it, man. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Definitely that. Um, so, as, as you, when you when you brought this, we're going to talk about the project, but um, when you brought it, when you brought it out, what, what made you, because you be working, man. Right. And I ain't never seen nothing like it, bro. Like, like I see a lot of cats. They, they, they say they're in the music. I, a lot of them be trying to come on the show too. They be like, "Man, I want to come." I look. I be like, "Damn, you ain't did a song in two years, my nigga." You know, right, but right. that's not that's not the way you do it, man. You always working. You always trying to come up with something new. You when you left me, you went upstate. I mm -hmm. seen billboards and all type of stuff. You know what I mean? Right, right. Posters. I said, man, my boy moving, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to stay moving. Bro. Yeah. And, and I seen you doing podcasts. You just don't stop, you know? Right. And that's that's the part where I think a lot of these cats don't get it. Like, you got to put that work in, right? Oh, that's mandatory, man. Uh, I think hard work will outbeat talent any day. What you going to do in 2022 different than what, I mean, you know, what you did in 2021 for as a hustle? You know, I'm, I get excited about that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm going to turn it up a notch. I just think about what I did this year um, with the whole Narcos campaign. I loved um, it. 
moving up to this immunity project. I'm going to take this into the new year. But I know I got Narcos 2 coming up. And I'm just trying to time that whole first campaign times three. Like, you know what I mean? I'm trying to level up. You know what I mean? I want to do a lot of promotion overseas this time. Mm. I want to reach a, a, a whole nother um, market. You know Where what I mean? Where exactly overseas are you thinking? Uh, UK, I heard, is real big on the music scene. Um, like I said, uh, I got some friends in Jamaica right now. That's, they, they doing big. Um, Definitely. Yeah, but just a lot of other areas. Just besides the United States. You know what I'm saying? We're going to tag the U.S., of course, but um, I want to reach out to other markets where they really um, into, you know, different cultures of music. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah, that's that's solid. That's solid, man. Uh, yeah, so don't be surprised next year you see me uh, overseas for two months. You know what I'm saying? Me and my crew take, you know what I'm saying? We over there, Amsterdam or something like that. Happy yeah. Bobby. It's definitely in the making. We'll be there. Oh, man. I, hey, listen, man. I already know how you move, man. Like I said, I ain't never seen nothing like it. A lot of these guys, man. Hey, take notes, man. P.F. Shout doing it right, man. For, for me, uh, when it come down to the brand, the way you moving, man, it's just solidarity, bro. Mm-hmm. And and I'm loving it. I'm loving the facts, man. And and I know already the patience that you have. How, how, did you, how do you get the, the patience you, that you have to see a project through and not get over anxious? Oh, man. That came from, from life experiences, man. Might have came sitting in that cell. Um, yeah. Yeah, you just learn patience, man. Waiting, you know what I mean, from having being forced to wait. I think as a young, I was very impatient. You know what I mean, and um, I think that that kind of made me grow into learning that patience is a virtue, mm-hmm. something that you must have. Yeah, yeah. So um, and now it's to the point where I kind of um, mastered having that that patience. Wow. And, and waiting it and knowing when it's time and because uh, they've been bugging me about this project. The project been done. I'm saying that now for uh, about a month or two. And I was thinking about dropping it back in um, early October. But it was the feeling and the vibe and the timing that I didn't feel. You know what I'm saying? But the other day when bigger, bigger me and Bigger spoke, you know what I mean? I felt it. it was, but yo, what you going to do with that project? You just bought the project. You ain't going to put it out? You know? Wow. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, I've been holding it. So, so how, how did you and him link up to even do this? Oh, uh, shout out again to my, uh, to my manager, Dollar, Dollar. You know what I mean? He like to play the, the backfield, but that's my dog. He uh, reach out, he make it happen, and you know? he called he call Bigger. Me and Bigger had already bumped into each other a few times at a couple of events. Shout out to ATL Top 20. Um, I attended some of their events, and me and Bigger had a chance to be at one of their events. We chopped it up then, and you know? when we, me and me and Bigger see each other, man, it's all love, man. You know, he originally from Duval, you know, that down, I'm originally from Florida, so we kind of vibe from that alone. So, I mean, you know. I like it, man. I, I, I like I said, I. I know already uh, when I see you and you working on something, I'm excited because I know already you putting your heart into it and it's going to have some essence. That a lot of the music today, uh, you know, and I don't want to sound like no old head, you know what I'm saying? I'm an old cat, but it don't be having an essence to it. Where I know when you speaking, you you speaking from a place, sometimes pain, and it be real. You know what I mean? Right. And I like that, man, because we don't get that a lot of times in our music no more. Right. A lot of it's just pretty much uh, the same thing repetitiously, and just to hear the, uh, just to hear the, uh, the 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 conviction, the realness, uh, that's what I feel is uh, defines you. Outside of the you know the whole circle that we're dealing with, you know, and 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 not only that the the, the cadences, man. You, you you when you speak it, you spend it for real, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I try to I try to um, put as much motion I can into my music when I'm making it. You know what I mean? I want to express a lot of times that be how I feel it. So it, it ain't you know what I mean? It ain't it ain't fake. It's really really motion. You know what I mean? Coming in in that mic, so that's how it come out. But how hard is it to because. When you write a song, you're feeling that moment right then and there. You know, something may have just happened and you're like, man. And you put it on paper, you, whether you're angry and you're putting it out, you're just writing all emotions coming out on paper. But so, sometimes when it's time to go into the studio to record, that emotion already passed. Well, see, I'm blessed to be a, a studio right downstairs in my bed. So <laughs> once I get mad, you get to talking crazy to me on the phone and blah, blah, blah. All right, click. I'm going downstairs and, you know, I can do it right then. I ain't got to wait for that. Okay. I'll wait till I get back, you know what I mean? And Cause I of, always wonder how people tap back into that emotion. And and sometimes it, it really it be there. It be there. Regardless of how long it be. I'm a Scorpio, so I hold on to a grudge just like <laughs> like for real. So I might be holding on to something from ten years ago that I ain't even rapped about yet. I just mm-hmm. ain't got to it yet. You know what I mean? It's, Dang. You know what I mean? But when it come about you know what I mean, it's, it's like that, so 
Mm-hmm. I, 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 hey, man, yeah, I get it, man. Them grudge is something else, too, though. But at right. the end of the day... I mean, I forgive. But you know, the thing it's is... It's hard when, to forget. But when you mm-hmm. speak on it, it's it's actually healing. Right, it's therapeutic. That's mm-hmm. right. To me. That's, that's that, exactly yeah, right. Definitely. So, the... the the song statistics with Charleston White, man. We got. I mean, you know that. You know that's our guy, man. Right. That I, I mean, come on, man. You know how. You know how we feel about him. That's why we sitting here today. Just be real about it. I be real. I can't be fake. You know what I mean? That's a um, you know. Um, how did you end up? Well, first of all, what made you put him on that track? Man, I watched Charleston White interview, man, and I think he spoke about some rappers. I'm not sure who it was. Something, but man, what he said was so goddamn real, man. Right, and I knew them niggas didn't like it. What he was saying, the fuck nigga. I mean, the, the flaw, and I knew they didn't like it. And I loved that, man. I was like, man, I need this nigga to talk on my track, man. I didn't know how I was gonna reach out to him. I went to IG and I went to hitting him and woo, 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 and that thing. No, he hit back. You know, I said, man, bro, get here to Atlanta, man. I, you know what I mean? I need you. Wow, man, he showed up, man, and it been on there since. Man, so that's yeah, that's when I got jealous about the white. Y'all was really, remember I told you that right. I was jealous because y'all had linked up and left me out. Right, so, man. I, I was I still in Dallas. You know, what I'm I was man. in Dallas, man. I man. said, man, look at this, man. Them things clean up there, you know. And I just love the way that 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 whole layout was when y'all went through the process. That's the, that's what's different about you as well. You you put out content, man. You let us see what's going on. You know, you walk us up to it. I remember when you put that out and that was going on back then that y'all was processing it. Right, but right. but you let us in. See, a right. lot of people don't know how to do that. And then it's classy the way you let us in. You didn't just bring us into anything. It was very laid out and professional when, when I seen y'all, the process in that, that, that whole situation. Right, right. That was dope. Yeah, I had, I had to get that man on there. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it was crazy how he rooted out of Texas, Fort Worth. You know, this is my daddy from. Uh-huh. And, um, I don't know what it was. If it was like I said, I think it was just more of a, um, I don't know what you call it, man. But it was just meant for us, to, me and him, to link up, man, and really talk and have that one on one, that sit down. Because I think what he expresses to the industry, to the rap world, and teach to the youth, man, is really needed about you know what I mean not not idolizing that character, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, um, yeah. I think that affected a lot of us growing up as a kid. I know I idolized a lot of characters yeah yeah even to find out them niggas really characters you know what i mean now it hurts me you know what i'm saying but i idolized and thought them they was the, the realest niggas in the world and i wanted to be like that shit you know what i mean i can't believe they tricked me you know what i'm saying <laughs> so i'm glad he addressing that shit man i swear you know, that shit needs addressing man yeah yeah a lot of a lot of people can't get can't get it so so it ain't for everybody anyway it ain't it's just like growing up and watching wrestling i remember watching wrestling that, there you go <laughs> that's the best way to put it if you ain't said nothing better man and i'm telling you i loved it i used to think all of that was real you could not tell me that was not real i'd go outside jump off of something to jump on somebody Thinking I'm, but I'm gonna hurt myself. And I used to always wonder how they don't get hurt. <laughs> in a nutshell, that shit. Is, that's the in a nutshell, right there. <laughs> well, man, hey, what about uh, you know that that song is dope. I love the video, man. Charleston in the back doing the arm thing. That's the way he do it. I, the boy be straight yeah, flexing. Shit. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I be like, damn, and you in that you you straight spin that fire. Hey, and it's a problem, man. I love that 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 track with with hard, man. Um, that uh, manipulation. That's another one that that man. Right, right. Um, I can't. Hey, I can't. That never gonna play in my dick at all times. You know, I said dick like the old way. You know, <laughs> yeah, nigga, I said dick. You know, <laughs> right? Uh, manipulation was a single, man, and I put it out there, not really knowing where I want to go with it. I just knew um, I really liked the song, and um, it caught a buzz, man. It picked up on a lot of radio stations here in Georgia, Florida. Um, I know in Philly, I know we reached Texas, Alabama. Oh, so yeah. it, it kind of reached a, cu- a couple of places, you know what I mean? And it's still rotating out heavily. You know, um, I, I, I hadn't put it on a project yet, so I decided to pick this immunity project. It fits the project, the title of immunity and manipulation. I think it goes well with the um, whole concept. So yeah. I took it. Again, bigger, bigger heard it. Bigger was like, man, I need this with y'all. It got to let me have this. Right. So, so how I wasn't working. I wanted to get the Dereza, the Sean part of it. Like, like, uh, do you want me to stop? Because I, 
No, because what I was going to say, you know, I've heard that manipulation a long time, you yeah. know, a while back. And I loved the song from then, but I did not know it was you. Oh, no, you did? I did not. And I loved it. And when he told <laughs> me, he played it today, and he was like, no, that's shot. And I'm like, really? Right, and I'm right. thinking that this song should be like this big already. Right, right. It, it's growing. It's, it's, it uh, is. And it's going to get, moment. it's going gonna, it's gonna to be number one. That's what's up. Oh, it's going to be number one. Yeah. I love it. So, Derez and you, how did y'all link up on that? Let's talk about it a little bit. Uh, Man, again, um, it was at a time in our life where I, I think we both both felt manipulated by, you know, close ones to us. We both felt like our loyalty had betrayed us. Um, I was in the studio alone, man. Me and my engineer, Neil, shouts out to Neil. Again, one of the best in the city, man. Neil was recording me. Um, I had did the song. After I did the song, man, I um I called the Reds on the phone. I was like, bro, you know what I'm saying? I want you to hear something. He was like, shit, I got something for you here. Like I told you before, he let me hear something. Sounded like oh, some shit with him and Chris Brown or something. I was like, man, that shit hard as hell. Do you know what I mean? After that, I was like, I really didn't want to let him hear my song, you know? <laughs> well, fuck it. I let him check it out, you know what I mean? He heard it. He was like, bro, oh, man, send me that shit, bro. And I sent it to him. Uh, about 30 minutes later, he had sent the shit back, man. Me and Neil played it. And it I mean, it was just, he, he did his thing to it. He brought life to the track. I mean, I was already in my feelings on it, and I think he came in and got in his feelings on it, mm -hmm. and it just, that shit spoke emotions. I mean, the whole song speak emotions. If wow. You to it, I, I love it. Yeah, that's, hey, man, that's so dope, man. Like, uh, you, you don't understand, man. Like, I, I'm, hey, that's, 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 that's going to be playing. Hey, when I'm rolling, I'm rolling with you, baby. You ain't got to worry about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, how, the, the the sauce and the one million views. How did that happen? Give me the process. I don't know how it happened. No, no, no I'm talking about just how it happened with with when you seen it go up. To, it, did it just pop, or did it just take time trickling up, or it, it took it took a little minute, but it, I kind of I did I did a um what I did was I posted it. At, on my YouTube page first, and then I, I went out my way, man. I spent seven thousand on World Star. Okay. And I, I told World Star, I put the link to everything to hit my YouTube page. And uh, from there, man, I just got all the pops from World Star, from um, running promo ads on YouTube and Google ads. It kind of just picked up, and, and that shit just. You know, I know it, it, it hit five hundred. It was at five hundred. I think me and my dog Dred, we started looking at it. Then that's when we started paying attention. It was like, man, that shit going to like 100,000 views a day, man. What the fuck? You know what I mean? mm -hmm. and then it got down to 90, 99. I was like, oh, shit. That bitch finna hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it hit a million. I was like, damn, I was surprised myself. You know what I mean? And, it, and this is one of the songs that I ain't did so long. Like, I ain't even had no help. And yeah, 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 yeah. I seen ago, that. My daughter might have been like, what? I don't know, a couple of years, five or something. So it was like. It was something I was just trying. Actually, my first ever song that I decided to record, that was it. In the first bit, that was it. Man, I think that's God's way of telling you to keep going. Right. That's and the cool. people, of course, for sure. Right. I got a lot of support though, from that because everybody was like, damn, Shaw, you need rap now. You need Shaw, you need rap now. <laughs> yeah, man. You hit that thing, man. So so let me ask you something, man. So uh, the, um, the 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 we didn't go with Toxic Toxic. Uh, what um what. You know, we had a guy that put a, had a song called Toxic, but he he was a white guy, right? And uh, it was it, it was different than your Toxic, of course, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> it didn't have a sauce like yours, you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> but it was a good song. It, it was just pop, though, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. But your Toxic man is that talking about a specific woman or situation? What is this Toxic about? Because right. there's so many things that's Toxic. I see she ain't gonna let me get away with this. Yeah, it does. Right. <laughs> I didn't ask this again. He did. Okay. Right. Yeah, it does. It speaks about a situation in my life where um I wasn't happy. Okay. And I was in a toxic relationship with a toxic woman and um I, I, I fought myself for making the decision for getting in that relationship. At the same time you got you know, sit accountability for yourself. And um I wasn't happy, man. I, I really wasn't. And um, it wasn't no better way to put it, but I want I wanted to be out of the relationship. You know what I mean? And I had we had built up this foundation and this 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 ground, and it was something that everybody was. Well, I felt like you know I'm supposed to stand on this. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I can't stand on something that I'm, I'm not solidified happy with that I, that I wasn't happy with. And um, I walked away from the situation. Mm -hmm. And and um. It caused it to go even more toxic, but 
uh, because of anger in the beginning. Yeah, because of anger and that's emotion. Yeah, them, um, hey, that's know. crazy. But it be happening just like that it's in reality. real time. It's reality. Right, right. and um, uh, and I, I didn't, I didn't, me personally, I didn't feel like I was being um breaking um no type of um I don't know how you want to say it, but loyalty to it because I still was there for. Her. If she needed anything, like if if she if she ever needed anything, I didn't feel like um I was betraying her, just abandoning her. That wasn't the feeling, but I wasn't happy with her. And um I, I had to get myself out of that, man. And so, it's a case where And this is years ago, this is nothing recent to be right, right, coming, right, right, but this right. is years no, ago. This no. is almost uh, I don't know, about eight years ago. So yeah, mm-hmm. I get it. Yeah, get but it. it definitely was a toxic situation and with Summer Walker right now with her having the back and forth with the men and the women war. Oh, I think it was best to speak up for the men, man. That men, like I said, men get tired and men be unhappy too. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? For, mm-hmm. You got these women that's talking about, oh, he ain't never there and he ain't. You got some men that ain't happy. Why he ain't there? He don't want to be there. What you mean? <laughs> but the reason why I was going to ask this question, I, I know, yes, it happened a long time ago, but we have a lot of listeners who may be currently going through a situation like what you're talking about. So I want to know, you know, they always want to know, okay, well, did you try everything you could possibly do before, you know? I'm, 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 as a, uh, I got five kids. I'm going to tell you right now, don't do it for the kids. Don't, don't stick around for the kids. Okay. Do it for your happiness. Do it for what makes you happy. Because doing it for, just doing it to make someone else happy is only going to make the situation worse. Okay. Wow. So, um, when you, um, when you look at, this is something I've been talking about because there's been so many deaths Centered around artists, and when you look at these different uh, deaths, you had uh, Vaughn, you had uh, you had Young Dolph, uh, you had uh, R. Piece, piece, piece of Dolph, you had uh, um, the Mo Threes, you had you know it's been so many, and we had one guy, uh, Ducky P. Ducky, yeah, Ducky P. Just different people, and I know you guys see it, the fog that 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 hovers over. Yeah, you know the, the the rap artists, man. Why? Where do where do you think they come from? What, what's what? Is there a, is there a vendetta? Is it self inflicted hate? What What do you think? Oh man, oh, it, it definitely hate. I think a lot of it is got a lot to do with hate and envy, jealousy. Um, it's sad, man. What's going Real on? Real sad. Yeah, what's going on with that that whole genre of what you're saying with the rap culture and, and the rappers dying. I think it's um it's seen more now because of the you know, the um social media and platform like that that and I think it's a lot more rappers now than it was before. And um maybe it's you seeing it more often, you know what I'm saying, than you was back then because there wasn't as many rappers, there wasn't no social media. But now it's a lot of people with uh things that people want. On live and on TV, and people flashing this and flashing that, and then there's people that don't have this and don't have that, and um, it kind of collides. Yeah, you know I, I mean? I'm really like it saddens me because you see these pictures with the family after after they have been murdered or killed. You you see the the babies. That's when the baby pictures come out. The yeah. family pictures come out. It don't come out during the time when they hear, but because the, the, they they keeping their image up. Right. But then after after they gone, the first pictures they put up is, "Hey, he had a family." Yeah, you don't see Young Dolph. You see you see the man, mm, like, exactly. Like, um, like they say, exactly. You don't see the character. You don't see the character. Yeah. They okay. Here come the real now. Here come the real. Wow, yeah. and that's that's the part that that that's the part that throws you off, because you know already that, it, in order to see it the way way the way uh, even say Charleston when he talks about it beforehand and speak on it. Right. could help to prevent somebody from going down that path and getting caught up in their character enough to where they lose their life, to be honest with you. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So um, when you, um, when you, okay, when, when do you think, what in 2022, the projects that are going to be coming out, because I know you ain't going to just do uh, um one, yeah. nah, 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 uh, nah. Uh, listen, man, we, 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 you got to keep it coming. You know, we like crackheads out here, nigga. <laughs> we got to have it, baby. I mean, when, you know, I'm when you, I'm trying to get my next fix. You know what I'm talking about? Right, right, How right. often do you intend to release some a new project? A new project? Uh, 
I don't know. I might release one next week. Ain't no tell. I got music like built up. I could just put some shit together and name it something and throw it out tomorrow if I wanted to. But it um it just all depends on how I feel. I think I got some singles I'm releasing in between here and there that didn't fit the project of mm-hmm. Immunity that I I really wanted to put on Immunity, but they just didn't go with it. So okay. I'm gonna get them out. I got a couple club songs that I want to put out. Um, I'll probably put them out as singles. Uh. Man, a lot of these projects are done. Like, this Narcos, too. I'm, I'm almost finished, man. I think uh, it's just the feature part of it I got to do. You know what I'm saying? But the songs are done. As an artist, I always wanted to know this answer to this question. Because you always hear artists say, oh, I have a catalog of songs that I've done. Just sitting down. Right. Okay, what is it doing you good? Just sitting down. Why not put them out? Why not do videos to them? Why hold on to some things that you've written for years ago? Why? Right. Right, I, I understand. Uh, it just it ain't that I'm holding on to it. It's just that right now it's not the time for it. So I'm putting out music. It's just not that music. Not you know that what I mean? Music. But that music, you know, when it's time for that music, then we're gonna put out that music. <laughs> but right now it ain't time for the you know the booty shaking and the um the, the club the ice and it ain't time for narcos too yet. It's, and it's sometimes time for that music. time might take <laughs> you know years. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Something just hit me. And you know, I, I have visions. You know, some old men dream dream. Young men, uh, old men see visions, and young Amen. young men dream dreams. So I, I just had a vision. You know, you know they've been doing the little mic, the little mic check thing where they hang the mic out the roof. The mic drop thing. The mic drop thing. I ain't picked it, but yeah. man, they doing it everywhere. That's what they it's do now. Everything. They're hanging the mic out the roof. Yeah, they hang a mic. All out. you they, see is like, say you sitting right here. All you yeah. see is a mic in front of. Just you. hanging in front okay. of. Okay. And they, and they rap to it. This is what they do. Out doing. in the open, outside or somewhere. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And this is what this is what they doing. And and I, I was thinking, I said, man, I sure would like to get you to come to and do that boss talk for me one time in the studio in wait. Dallas. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait. Come on and do that. <laughs> so, you're, hey, I get the mic and everything, but we drop that thing down right there and let you just because that boss talk, man. Listen, man. I you know, I got my other version with the, with the one I pray. I, I mean, I play for the commercialized stuff, but the gangster in me, right? Oh, I got to play the one. You when that when, when I play, I play the one. Right, I think I'm gangster, nigga. Put me in a place mentally. Yeah, and I, don't, I, don't, I don't think nobody actually heard that full song with a couple people, and the people I like it. They kind of tell me that's their favorite. I like that song, so I'm like, all right, man. nigga, that's my. You know, that's my. I mean, that's my <laughs> pick, nigga, because of the show. But right, right. I mean, but. Manipulations is right there with it though, but cocaine, bro. Everything is a bad song, bro. On your last one, <laughs> look, man, you something else, bro. Right. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I, I enjoy what you're doing, man. You you make my day, bro. Like like the music, like I hadn't given up. You know I what I'm saying? On a lot I of re- I had given up, bro. Like I didn't think nobody else was gonna be doing no music that I would even be able. I ain't really just I don't just jump on no everything. And 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 when I the the first song with you and Lil Boosie. When I when I when I heard that song and seen that it was so real, right. and I got boys. You see, I told you, and, and, and when you came on the show, I told you. I said me and my boys came up here that day, and for Father's Day was it Father's Day or we just we just came up there? It was before Father's Day because I put it out on Father's Day. You remember after right, you left? Right. Yeah, I remember. But I told you about it when you was there. I said the first day when I heard that song, I went up to the store and brought my sons, and uh, mm-hmm. we sat around because of you. And uh, I was like, man, let's just go talk, you know. Now I'm going, and I shouted you out, but I don't think I put that part out. I just cut that part and then uh, put it out for Father's Day for fathers to see, man. Brothers do take care of their kids, you Definitely, know. Definitely, man. Definitely do that. Yeah, and, and, and I appreciate you again for that, man. Like, that's inspiration. That's something that sticks. That's something that somebody else can see. They may see your video. When I show people that video, the first thing a father going to do, he going it, to it hit him somewhere. It if should. It should. <laughs> I think... Uh, Boozy did his thing on it, and um, it's something I, I wanted really. I wanted to express to um to men with kids, man. I want them to let them know to sit down and talk with them, man. Give them that advice, man. Let them give them give them that game. Don't feel ashamed to give your son that game, man. Don't sit around here and let him be blind and run into that bullshit that you ran into. Like talk to him, tell him what's up, man. Like really do that because I, I I do see some fathers that. It will sit there and ignore, you know what I mean? The game that they got, they still won't even give it to the son, like. You know what I mean? Pass that on and, you know, let him avoid them situations you went through. Wow. Man, like I said, that's just a real connection you made with me for sure. But for a lot of brothers seeing that, you you, you can't deny they had to feel it. 
You know what I mean? Uh, just the, the, the brushing of the hair, the getting the hair cut, I, I do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I do that, though. I do that for real, for real. For you real, know what I'm saying? Real. Yes, sir. Right. So, so, again, in 2022, man, I know, hey, man, I'm going to be looking for the music. I'm over here cracked out. I'm fiending. You know what I'm saying? Don't come out with something in two months. I'm on the phone. Say, man, mm-hmm. where it's at, man. Uh, you know, because do you think it's, because it, Gary Vaynerchuk, shout out to Gary Vaynerchuk. He, uh, it was a time when he said it's always content over create, meaning put something out. Uh, I remember him telling Nipsey Hussle, like, it's going to be somebody to come out with a song that they play. I mean, make a song every week or every, you know, and just drop it on, on IG or drop it. Just keep dropping it. Do you think that process would work to make get them recognition if they were good at what they do? Like I said, it, it's got to be good. You know what I mean? For people to buy into it, you can't sit there and just keep. Posting, posting BS, and, and you know, I mean, nah, that ain't gonna do it. It got to have some essence. It got to have some it's Got to be something somebody into, you know. Um, okay, how much money you spend on promotion and marketing and all that? If it ain't it. It ain't it. If it ain't it, it ain't it, man. Um, shout out to everybody who are watching, man. Uh, y'all need to like and subscribe to our channel. Um, you know, we always pushing the uh, promo. We got we got a sponsor too. We we this our first sponsor that we got. We about y'all about to see it. The move is about to be made. We finna start dealing with the sponsorship. We finna start pushing harder than what we ever pushed. Twenty twenty two. Y'all know what it is, man. Uh, we finna get y'all. We we choking. We choking twenty twenty two. We grabbing it by the neck. What you think about it, uh, Miss Jamaica? For sure. <laughs> so you 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 feel like we can take it to the next level? Of course. You know we got we got to push, man. I'm trying to get a million subscribers. We got it. Okay, y'all. Yeah, along the way. Hey, we pushing. I, I, hey, man, it, it got to be organic. Everything got to be fresh. We trying to kill. Hey, kill the game, man. You know. So do you do you think that you'll bring a, uh, another artist, uh, somebody up? Uh, uh, you know. Yeah, definitely, definitely. When it, when is that going? When you gonna work on that? Oh man, it's probably, you might look for that this year, man. Yeah, um, that's something I've been in the making with. I'm real picky with my artists. I know, I know. You but, know what I mean? But um, you, but with what you're doing and the work that you're doing, it's like you got to bring somebody along so you can process it and you know you yeah, be a blessing. Yeah, yeah. Going through it. Yeah, definitely. But um, I would gotta, you would it be a female or a male? I ain't biased, so it'd be it'd be whoever whoever hot whoever wants feeling. It ain't gonna be no male, female. It might be a child. Wow. Yeah, ain't no telling. It might be a country artist, a, a rock star. Ain't no telling what it might be. You know what I mean? I ain't biased. I ain't just into hip hop. I ain't just into, you know what I mean? One culture or none of that. So that ain't no issue with me. And I, I wanna go back to something that me and you talked about earlier, just a little bit ago about um, the all of the rappers and the and the, the hidden agenda that the devil has to destroy everything that has to do with these artists. Uh, do you, um, when you look at these, uh, the way that these guys uh, are collectively uh, having these issues, as far as what they say in their music, do you think they have a lot to do with it? I definitely do. I definitely think um, uh, the mouth is powerful. You got to watch what you put into the atmosphere, the energy you put out there. Uh, it, it comes back. I definitely believe that. Definitely do. Um, that's why, like I said, I watch what I say on my track, um, in my music. You know what I mean? Although I speak a lot of street shit, and you know, um, I, I let you know, you know what I'm saying, the truth about it as well. You know what I mean? It's facts to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, mean, I ain't just, you know what I'm saying, fabricating and, and putting this bullshit in the atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it sticks with you. I want you to know that it's real. You know what I mean? You know, I think Pac got caught up in that. You know, if I die tonight, yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah. you know, uh, I see death around the corner. Right. Uh, That's uh, something I never do. I all never, that. You, you, never, you remember yeah, them tracks? Yeah. Them tracks was coming like that. You never hear me make music about death. Never. never. Yeah, yeah, and it, because it, it, it's serious, man. Yeah. And then, then, and then I always think about that song Biggie did when he said, "I'm going, going back, back to Cali, Cali." You never and, hear me name an album "Ready to Die." Or yeah, that, see what that, I'm that, saying? It'll never be, never. That was that was different. I think they were blind to it then. I don't think they knew the power that they had in their words. And back tell, then. Yeah, there's power in that. That was tone. very, very, and it was, it was, it was dark and entertaining. It was. I'm serious. People didn't really look at it, but it was dark and entertaining. You would. You you see you hear you could feel the the fact that it was gonna happen, and, and and then when it happened, you almost was like, man, he said it was gonna happen. He was prophetic in it happening, and I, I think you're right. The words is uh, words is something else. You know, they say sticks and stones may break my bones. Yeah. 
But words, but can, words never can never hurt me. And I think that's the biggest lie. You know? Well, that's a big lie. That's a big lie. <laughs> that's a big lie. Words hurt, man. Yeah. You don't want to say, hey, when you get in an argument and somebody out you, man, that thing don't feel too good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I'm going to be immune. Like, so, yeah, exactly. I'm immune, immune to them it. words. You're right. You're right. So, man, hey, I'm going to hey, enjoy this, man. So, this was a, a mixtape? Uh man, it was a was it an album or a mixtape? It was a mixtape turned into an album, man. Mm-hmm. Um, I, yeah, I'm like, man, the you whole, know, the whole thing was me to just do the mixtape, and then the way Bigger got on it and hosted it, you know what I'm saying? That just made it a project, you know what I mean? So it was like, all right, we're gonna run with it on both on black both platforms, um, put it out on all screaming platform, title, YouTube, Amazon, and then do the mixtape platforms with it as well, with the version of um Bigger on both, cause um he. he he did his thing, you know what I'm saying? He can't can't put it out without him. Can't even I can't even put it out on iTunes without Big. Like it, it's that solidified the way he did it and blended it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no. So uh, he got to get his credits. I think you made the right decision, man. Right. I mean, that, he's a great guy. So at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Uh, when you start putting things like this, it's a chemistry, man. And, and you can't do nothing but it, it's only up from here when you start doing it right. And and like I said, you your moves that you make. You 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 calculating your moves. You ain't you ain't just out here just doing something. And it's very obvious, man. I, especially when I seen you down there at V Live in Dallas, where you was doing, man, and all you know all these different promo. You know the promos you do. I can't wait to see the promo behind this. I ain't gonna lie to you. I get excited because you doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? We putting this one together. Yeah, this is maybe really gonna be a, a, a different type of promo, but I think it's gonna be hard. Though. Yeah, you definitely hard. You came you when you came to our you. Thank you so much for coming through, blessing our platform the way you did. And when you came through, man, I ain't, we hadn't had nobody to come like you came. Just to have your merch and to have your stuff and the to just and the, the, and, the, and, the, and the volume you had and the way that the team was organized. Mm-hmm. And I, we just you don't see that every day. And I've had a bunch of people, bro. Some of them platinum artists that I guess I don't know. They feel like they don't have to deal with it no more. But this internet have made it to where. I think everybody should be moving like that. Right, right. I'm being real. Unified. Yes, the way you have your team and basically you not you're not out here just see because if you doing anything and you halfway do it or you one fourth, you know, a quarter of a way doing it, 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 it should weigh heavy on you. You see what I'm saying? Because what happens is you have an opportunity there when you come to do that interview at my my place, of course. The behind the scenes, the 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 things that that you do, the the whole movement of where you went, everywhere you went, I knew after you left because right. you had visuals behind it, and I mm-hmm. think that's so important, bro. Definitely, definitely got to give them um, the visual to look at, man. People don't want to just hear about it; they want to see it. But you get that, but I'm telling you, a lot of people don't get that, right? right. Or they ain't willing to do it, bro. Yeah, you got to put in the work. Man. <laughs> got to put in the work. No way around that. Man. <laughs> Ain't no way around that. Say, man, again, how can people get a hold of you, man, if they're trying to, you know, lock in with you? Again, I'm PGF Show on all streaming platforms, man. Put God first always. I'm on um, social, I mean, on um, Twitter, Snapchat, uh, IG, PGF Show. And, and the project, you know, get it on uh, Apple? Uh, or? Man, it's out right now. Immunity, man, hosted by my boy Bigger, ranking on all streaming platforms. You can go to YouTube, you can go to iTunes, you can go to Tidal. Shazam, uh, Amazon, uh, man, Google, it don't matter what. Everywhere. You're you going to find it, man. Man, hey, man, say, man. Hey, man, every time I, I get excited about these interviews, bro, like I said, it's only a few that I, I, I take dear to heart, man. You my brother. Uh, if you need me, I'm here. If you go to D.C., nigga, I'll fly up there. Man, wherever the hell man. you go, nigga, <laughs> I'll come to you. I told him, didn't I tell you? I said, wherever that nigga go, you book my ticket because I'm going to support him because you've been too good to us, man. Man, we here, man. And man, I, I don't man. play about you. I'm telling you, man. That's Period. Man. Man, <laughs> Period. I ain't mm-hmm. playing about you, bro. I promise you, man. That's so like thank it. you, man, for the interview, man. Yeah, thank you, man. Yes, sir. Mr. And Jamaica. Mr. Miss Jamaica, <laughs> something else, ain't she? She yeah. sitting there quiet. She really want to get real deep in your business. You I ain't <laughs> tripping. You know, she asked me whatever. I ain't holding back. Nothing. Hey, man. Thank you so much, man. This has been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we out.